Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. Today's topic, I'd like to talk about camshaft position sensor. So basically, let's just say if you have a camshaft position sensor issue, you're gonna experience the following signs or symptoms. The first most common one is going to be stalling. For example, let's just say you're driving on the highway and suddenly your vehicle stalls out of nowhere. That could be a sign of a bad camshaft position sensor. Also, let's just say in the morning or during startup, when you're trying to start up your vehicle, and let's just say you have a hard time starting and suddenly it starts, and suddenly you have rough idle and suddenly it stalls again, that could be a sign of a bad camshaft position sensor. In addition to that, let's just say if you're giving a gas and you're trying to accelerate and suddenly your vehicle has a hard time accelerating and it feels like it wants to stall out, that could be a sign of a bad camshaft position sensor. Moreover, if you got a bad camshaft position sensor, it's gonna cause the check engine light to turn on and you're gonna get some sort of camshaft position sensor code. It's also kind of funny because sometimes you may also get a crankshaft position sensor code as well in conjunction with the camshaft position sensor code. So the most common issue that's gonna affect the camshaft position sensor is going to be oil contamination. So basically, if you look at this camshaft position sensor, you can see it is coated with oil, engine oil. So basically this was caused by a bad valve cover leak that happened to leak out and got all over on this camshaft position sensor and also got into the connection. So basically if you remove this camshaft position sensor and you clean it up with some sort of solvent or with soap and water and you also clean the wires as well in the connection, that may fix the issue. The next common issue is going to be broken wires simply because the camshaft position sensor is located and mounted on the cylinder head so it's constantly exposed to engine heat over time that's going to cause the wires and the connection to become brittle and cracked so what you want to do you want to if you could get the vehicle up and running go up to the uh, camshaft position sensor grab the wire and shake it around if suddenly the vehicle stalled, then you know you're gonna have some sort of connection issue or a wire issue. Next, you wanna see that your camshaft position sensor may be faulty or it has a, an internal issue. Get yourself a marker or a, a screwdriver or anything, and with the vehicle running, go ahead and directly tap onto the camshaft position sensor. If the vehicle stalls off, that means it is losing signal and most likely the sensor or maybe the connection are faulty. Let's just say you replace the camshaft position sensor, you check the wires, you check the connection, there's no oil contamination, there's no leak on it. Maybe you have some bigger issue that you're not aware of. So the least common issue is gonna be maybe some sort of timing issue. For example, since the camshaft position sensor monitors the uh, rotational speed of the camshaft, Anything that interferes with it can trigger the camshaft position sensor codes and it can also trigger a crankshaft position sensor code. Basically in a timing system, the most common problem is going to be some sort of interference that's going to interfere with the function of camshaft position sensor. For example, let's just say if your timing chain is really stretched, that can cause an interference to it and throw the signal off and trigger the uh, camshaft position sensor code. Also, let's just say you have a weak timing tensioner that also can cause some sort of slack in the timing belt or timing chain and also trigger the camshaft position sensor code. The next common problem is going to be a bad reluctor wheel. So this is the uh, reluctor wheel and this is the, uh, the camshaft position sensor. And let's just say for, for some odd reason, let's just say there's something wrong with this one of the tooth, and let's just say it is damaged for some reason. So basically the camshaft position sensor, can I get a, pro can I get a proper reading from the rotational speed of the camshaft? So again, that's gonna trigger a camshaft position sensor code. So the least common problem that most likely, probably most people won't even think about is gonna be some sort of contamination. For example, let's just say you have a partially blown head gasket. And let's just say all that sludge is building up inside the engine that can coat the outside layer of the camshaft position sensor and interfere with the signal that can cause it to throw a code. 
on top of that, let's just say you use some sort of additive and you threw it inside the engine. For example, let's just say you use the engine restorer that can also interfere with the account position sensor because it started to code it around it and cause it to no function or not work properly. So basically, I just told you guys a lot of reason that can cause the camshaft position sensor to fail or trigger some sort of code. So basically, if you try all of that that I just mentioned and you can't fix the issue, maybe you might have a computer issue. So basically, let's just say you have a faulty computer that can prevent the codes from erasing. So basically, some of the classic signs that you got a bad uh, computer or ECM it's gonna be number one, you can't erase the code. Number two, you're gonna have some sort of engine performance issue because a lot of engine sensors need to work to, work together with the computer. Next, you're gonna have a lot of different multiple codes. For example, you're gonna have camshaft codes, crankshaft code, mass sensor, sensor codes, TPS code, and so on. And let's just say the engine is running just okay, and you got all these codes that don't really make sense and they're just coming triggering out of nowhere. That could be a sign that you're gonna have some sort of computer issue. What if you tried all of that and you still can't erase the code? Maybe it's time to visually inspect the uh, timing system. So basically what do you wanna do? Remove the timing cover and take a real good look at it. So one of the common things I have found, for example, let's just say you got a timing system that uses a timing belt. What you wanna do, you wanna inspect the rubber part of the, uh, of the timing belt and make sure if it's worn for some reason and it start to split, that component can just spin around and slap the, uh, the camshaft position, position sensor. It can cause damage to it. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.